Hello, this is Trevor with Pelican Water Systems. Today, I want to take you through the installation of a PSE 1800 or PSE 2000 system. Before we get started, I want to take you through the individual parts included with the system. Included are one pre-filter housing with cover, one spanner wrench, mounting bracket with hardware, one 5 micron sediment filter, two bypass valves with one inch MPT fittings, your product registration form, owner's manual, two Pelican logo decals, one hose bib assembly with a sample of our Lemmy Shine rinse and wax. Before placing your system into service, you must pre-soak your water filter for a minimum of 48 hours. Once the carbon tank has been pre-soaked, we can then move on to the flushing process. To start, you'll install the hose bib assembly to the inlet side of the carbon tank. Next, attach your garden hose to the hose bib assembly. Once attached, we can now turn on the garden hose at a very low flow, no more than a quarter of a turn. You'll then want the water to trickle through for a minimum of 30 minutes. This will allow the carbon fines to expel without disrupting the carbon bed. After the water has trickled through for 30 minutes, we will then turn the water off, disconnect the hose bib assembly from the inlet, and attach it to the outlet side. Now we're ready to back flush the system and reset the carbon bed. You'll turn on your hose spigot slowly, but open it to full blast and allow the water to run through for three minutes. For our installation today, we'll be utilizing the installation kit available through Pelican Water. Included are one 24 inch clack to clack flex pipe, two John Guess to clack flex pipe, one John Guess to one inch threaded MPT fitting, one roll of Teflon tape, three one inch threaded to stem fittings and your installation instructions. We'll be installing our system today in the Pelican Water Test Lab. As you can see, our setup is pre-plumbed. The first shutoff valve in our series would represent the main shutoff to your home. We recommend installing a hose bib to give access to water during maintenance, as well as another shutoff valve just prior to the system. See here that we had to couple up from 3 quarter inch to 1 inch CPVC. The system, as well as the installation kit, adapts to 1 inch pipe. To start our installation, we first must assemble the pre-filter system. First, want to unscrew the cover from the blue housing. Uh, to do so, you just rotate the housing clockwise. Next, you'll want to orientate the cover properly for your situation, uh, determining whether the water enters from the left or the right. Next, I want to attach the mounting bracket to the cover, and included with the system is 5 16 lag bolts 
and I'm just using a half inch ratchet to make the connections. Next, we're going to install the inlet and outlet fittings for the pre-filter system. First, I'm going to wrap both of the threaded ends with a few wraps of Teflon tape. I'm installing the John Guest to one inch threaded adaption into the inlet side of the pre-filter cover. I'll hand tighten first and then follow with a few turns with a pair of pliers. And once the one inch threaded to stem fitting is wrapped with Teflon, I'll install that into the outlet side. Again, hand tight at first, followed with a few turns with the pliers. Now we're ready to mount the cover and bracket to the wall. Our setup is pre-plumbed, so we're going to insert the one inch CPVC right into the John Guest fitting. It just snaps on and makes a permanent connection. We then want to rotate the collar to lock it in place. Now I'm ready to level the bracket and pre-drill for my screws. With our holes pre-drilled, we can go ahead and insert our screws. Next, we're ready to install the 5 micron sediment cartridge to the housing and attach it to the cover. You'll notice in the bottom of the housing is a standpipe. You'll want to install the cartridge, making sure to center it over the standpipe. And when installing it to the cover, you'll want to rotate in a counterclockwise motion. You want to hand tighten and then follow with a spanner wrench, making sure not to over tighten the housing. Next, I want to show the installation of the bypass valves. They simply snap into the head. And then all you have to do is tighten the quick connect nut. Hand tight is sufficient, being that there's an O-ring to seal the connection. There is no need for pliers.
We're now ready to make our plumbing connections. Again, we'll be using the installation kit. We'll want to grab one of the John Guest to clack pipes. And I'm here just manipulating the pipes for my situation. I'm trying to keep the tanks as close to the wall as possible. So I'm going to connect the first clack end to the inlet side of the carbon filter and tighten down the quick connect nut and then just bend and manipulate the pipe as I need and I'm going to attach the John Guest end to the stem fitting on the outlet of the pre-filter. The John Guest literally just slides over the stem to make a permanent connection. Next, to attach both of the tanks, I'll need the clack to clack flex pipe and I'll install the first end into the outlet side of the carbon filter, just pushing and snapping in that O-ring and then tightening the quick connect nut. We'll attach the second end to the inlet side of the NatureSoft tank. And lastly, we'll grab the other John Guest to clack flex pipe. And that will be installed to the outlet side of the NatureSoft tank. And will be then connected to the outgoing water supply to the home. As you can see, the installation kit drastically decreases the time in which you need to make these plumbing connections. With the system now fully installed, I want to show you the bypass for the carbon tank and the bypass for the NatureSoft tank. At this point, we're ready to turn the bypass into service mode on the NatureSoft tank. This will allow water to enter the tank to soak the media. Once you're finished with the NatureSoft media soak and flush, you're ready to put your carbon tank back into service. You'll notice that I open the bypass valve slowly. Once the bypass valve is fully opened, your system is now ready for use. If you have any questions on the installation of your system, please feel free to give us a call at 877-842-1635.